Welcome to the Corporate Caterer Expert Interview on Marketing. Today we are joined by Stephanie Sedeno. Stephanie has spent about a decade working for the restaurant and hospitality industry, running marketing programs on the West Coast. So Stephanie, thanks very much for giving us a few minutes. Of course. Glad to be here. Great. So let's just jump right in. What are the marketing bases that every business should be covering? Um, well, firstly, I think that it's really, really important to know what your core proposition is as a business. So um, what I mean by this is what you do that's special and unique um, that no one else is doing or that can really differentiate you from people that do something maybe similar. Um, so that's where you really start. And from that point, you figure out who your audience is, who are the people out there that will want to buy that product or that that product or service uniquely serves. Um, so, you know, that translates basically to every business, but um, food businesses need to be aware and cognizant of these sort of foundational aspects. So what makes you unique to maybe those other players in the market? Is it your authenticity? Is it your fresh ingredients? Is it um, your sourcing? Um, do you source all organic? Do you um, have special relationships with your producers? All of those things that you do that perhaps competitors don't do, those can kind of, you know, be laid back and kind of come together to form your core proposition. Got it. Okay, great. And so if, if people have limited marketing budgets, what, what would you say would be some of the best bang for the buck that people can do? Mm, that's a great question. A lot of times you see people not engage in marketing activity because they think it's out of their reach or too expensive, or the first thing that they think of is advertising, and they think advertising is expensive. I don't have budget for that. But really, marketing activities involve so many other things, and some of the ones that provide great bang for your buck are um, social media. Um, anything that you own as a platform like your website or a blog or your social media channels that you yourself can control and manage in-house are pretty cost-effective ways to send out messages, to push out promotions, um, to connect and provide a level of service beyond the experience that people have when they engage with you on-premise. Very cool. And so if there was one big mistake that you see a lot of restaurants make, what, what is that? I think over and over again, I see restaurants with really bad websites um, that sort of haphazardly present what they offer in the service experience. And that's really unfortunate because um, you eat first with your eyes and no different on the digital landscape when um, someone who you know is perhaps interested in visiting your establishment goes to your website. They should be enticed by everything that they see, just as if be actually present in your restaurant, you know, ordering off the menu, they should be, you know, looking around and sort of enticed to everything that they're experiencing. And the same experience um, should, should be, you know, one that they have online. Great. Well, Stephanie, thanks again for giving us some of your time. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me.